Hello, good evening. Welcome to the live with me again. I'm Elle from L Furniture and tonight we are going to paint this very beautiful and quite unique. They are mostly uh, found in Europe. These are old sewing bo uh, boxes and they are quite popular and uh, you, you can find quite a lot here in, in uh, Europe. I'm in Europe. I'm working in Luxembourg and living in Germany on the border. So this is the box I think you've seen on my page uh, before uh, doing such projects. So hello, hello, hello. We are going to use tonight the silk all-in-one mineral paint and I'm gonna use this beautiful desert rose which is a very beautiful dusty rose and um, I, I chose this paint because this is not a real wood and uh, because I wanted an all-in-one I didn't want to put primer and then paint and then protection so I'm going with this all-in-one and then I will seal everything uh, with the wax so if you join the the live don't forget to tell me from where you are watching what time is there where you are let me know if you see well everything if you need us to do something to see better i don't know how is everything with you i'm quite curious as i said to know from where you are joining me so now let me open. I'm going to use a normal mini brush and um, not so much the uh, the Mr. Mr. Bottle because uh, I think I don't need to, to add too much water on, on this paint or it's the producer is saying, Dixibel is saying that it's better to just use it as is. So, oh gosh, I, I never used this paint, the, the minerals. I really never used it um, because I had quite a lot of stock of normal paint from Dixibel. So I just used the, the normal line, the chalk paint line. Oh, hello, hello. Thank you very much for joining. Thank, thank you very much for watching. So this paint is really amazing. I mean, I'm shocked. It's, it, it has such a great coverage. You really don't need a second coat. Of course, I will add a second coat, but it really looks already amazing. So, um, yeah, I will go. I will continue to go on with, with this. Um, and after I finish painting it, I want to add some transfers. Can you give me the transfers from there? Thank you. So I'm, I'm thinking to play a little bit with these two, the hot air balloons and this very beautiful lace transfer. I want to put them somehow, I don't know yet how. <laughs> But definitely I want to use both of them because I really like these two and I, I didn't have the occasion to use them. So I'm going to use this, uh, these two transfers for this uh, box. I have another one that I have to make for the same customer. So I will have two boxes and the, one, the other one I will make it a baby blue. That's the final decision. <laughs> It's very, it's a very great, great paint. So this is just the beginning of me using this paint for sure. I love it. I think I will turn it. Kathy says she's following you from, uh, she's watching you from Fellow Montana. Wow. And it's 10 degrees Fahrenheit. I don't know how much is in... Uh... 20 degrees Fahrenheit is here. Okay. Oh gosh, so it's cold also there. In Europe also it's quite strange because during the night it's really super chill. It's like minus seven, minus eight, which in Fahrenheit means uh, my husband will help me. Minus seven, minus eight, I don't know. It's quite chilly. I mean, the windows uh, at the car are frozen, but in the afternoon it gets like three times hotter. So it's really spring after lunch. 
which is quite okay, but I hate the morning freezing. I really hate it. I'm sick of it, actually. <laughs> so beautiful. This color is really beautiful. So I want to keep this project really simple. What I want to show you... 19, okay, so 19 and uh, during the day it gets to 40, 45 maybe, something like that. What I want to tell you is that, or 60, what I'm saying is that this paint is really for everybody. I mean, it's super easy to spread and it really doesn't leave any brush marks. It's remar it's, it's unbelievable. It's super, super, super beautiful. Why? This is hi from Waco, Texas. Hello, you don't have problems with the freezing in Texas, right? Or you still do? I know there were some issues with the weather also there. Hello, thank you very much everyone for joining. Thank you. I was supposed to have uh, this today. Actually, I was supposed to have a live uh, done in cooperation with uh, Dixie Bell here on the chalk paint uh, with a guest. Oh, but the, unfortunately, the guest is from Romania, and uh, because of the Ukrainian war, they um, they made quite a lot of uh, I don't know difficult. They made very difficult all the imports. So the package from Dixiebel that was supposed to arrive to my guest uh, artist from Romania arrived very late. Actually, it arrived just today. And we were not sure if he will be able to make it. So we just said, okay, let's just leave it for uh, for the end of the week, uh, end of the, of the month. I will let you know in time because I really want to have time a little bit to um, let you know about the project and what we are going to work with and so on. So unfortunately... The situation is as is, so we have to deal with what we have. Deborah says hi from New York. Hi. Hi. Hello. And Connie says it's 37 degrees and raining in Waco. Oh. Oh, it is cold also there. It's so. ready for spring. Oh, everybody is, especially me. I'm a very solar person. I love sunny days and hot weather i just love that and uh, if you cynthia says hi from Akubala. hello hello cynthia thank you very much for joining everyone thank you so i am using the silk for the people that joined a little bit later it looks a little bit watery compared to the to the uh, normal uh, chalk paint but it has an amazing coverage and this color is just beautiful. I'm using the desert rose and it's just super beautiful. It's a brand new paint. Uh, Dixie Bell just launched it. So just uh, go online and, uh, and get yours or if you have any close, uh, close to your home uh, stockist, then you just go and, and get this paint is really amazing for anybody. I mean, it's super easy to use it. It definitely doesn't require any skills to have. Really, I have no uh, brush stroke. If you hear a lot of kisses in the background, that's my husband kissing our dog. So, <laughs> and if he misses some uh, questions from you, then that's why he's missing the questions. <laughs> because he's very busy kissing the dog i'm gonna paint also the interior but not now i have to wait to wait for the outside to be dry i'm going on this for the moment we let uh, i i'm really curious to see how fast it dries in here it's quite uh, okay it's not very hot but it's not cold hello hello wilfried hello my friend how is everything with you you used this, uh, the mineral, uh, sorry, the, the all-in-one before. I, I, and I heard people saying how great it is, but I don't know. I just didn't go for any project with the silk mineral. So now I tried it and phew, it's amazing. I love it. And this color is so beautiful and so fresh. 
I love it. I mean, look at this. I don't know if you can see well. It 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 has no uh, no stroke strokes from the brush. Nothing. It's just brush perfect. Stroke. It's perfect. It's just perfect, and it's so creamy. It's like a butter. It's really really super creamy. Very nice paint. Really very good paint. Indeed. So today is just with with using the transfers and painting. I think I think. I know for sure that everyone can paint at home projects and with all these, you know, new furniture that they really are not very good quality. It's definitely much better to, to try use, uh, you know, old furniture, give it a second chance and look how beautiful it turns out from this dark brown to this super feminine pink there are more colors uh, in in the line so uh, maybe now that i am falling in love with it and i will start using it more often i will uh, definitely learn more about the colors it's really really great and the fact that you don't need to prime something that is not wood that's amazing already so um what project are you guys working at? What are you doing? Has anyone tried this paint before? I think everybody did except me. So shame on me that I didn't try it so far. But look, I'm catching up now. Oh, I love it. So maybe we have time. I don't know. I, I, I have to... I have to read a little bit how much time it needs to to cure to coat but it doesn't say yeah, maybe it says hi from Tulsa Oklahoma. hey hello I haven't I haven't heard about that place before oh this is this is a uh, broken why no really I didn't sorry I didn't but America is so big I mean it's huge Renata says hi, hello from Poland. Hello, Renata. So where is it? In which uh, part of uh, the United States? In the middle. In the middle? Oh, nice. Nice. No, I don't know. Sorry. I uh, I forgot to tell you that before painting, and I really, I can, sh well, I can still show you. I, I, I think you can imagine this, how shiny it was. You can see a little bit here because it still kept a little bit of the shine. Uh, it was super shiny and I did not send, I did not do anything else, but I cleaned it with the white lightning and then I arranged it very well and look how make uh, this became. I mean, it has zero shine. So it literally matte. takes matte, okay. It literally takes uh, that outside shiny thing from, from the furniture. This uh, cleaning product is amazing. I, I swear it's really amazing. It's super, super, super beautiful and great and easy to use. And it's really very nice. So, um, yeah, so I'm going to do, I'm, I'm thinking if I go with the same color inside or I should go maybe with um, something a contrast i'm thinking that i don't know i'm not sure i want to make something when you open it to have to be like a, a surprise or something so i'm really thinking maybe you can help me with this color which is a uh, dusty pink what how could i uh, what could i put inside to make it pop up when you open it what do you think? I, I really didn't decide the interior. I've been thinking about the same color, but also I think I might want to change a little bit to have this surprise inside. What do you think? I think it looked, it would be nice with, uh, maybe with um, a terracotta. I don't know. So I'm waiting for your ideas. 
Tell me what I should do. How I should make the inside. Catherine says, Oklahoma is in the lower center of the country, right above Texas. Okay, nice. You have good weather there. This, Usually. This is your problem. Good weather. Yes, it is. For me, everything, Africa, yes, everything is connected to good weather, to sunny days. If I don't have sunny days, then I'm super sad. Okay, so this is done. And I still have one small little box. And then this one, it's not still perfectly glued here. I will try not to touch it. So what comes the best inside? Come on, you have to help me, you have to save me. I really don't know what to put inside. <laughs> I have a ba I have a blue also from the same line. I will uh, go and I will take a look. I think a dark blue would look really nice. These two boxes will stay in a beauty salon. So, the salon. salon. The fact Elizabeth says hello from Delaware. Hello, hello Elizabeth. So, save me, tell me what color to go inside with this uh, tea rose. Tea rose? No, not desert rose. Sorry, I didn't remember the name. It's so sweet. This is the my, this is my favorite color actually. I think I have a jacket with this color. I have what babe? I think I have everything. Pajamas, uh, shoes. shoes. Yeah, I have. Right, I think so too. Thank you very much. Yeah, I think a blue would, would come nice. I have to think if I make a dark blue or a light blue i don't know but i will go now and i will check because i received from dixie i received two more colors and as far as i remember i think there were it, it was a darker blue and a whiter blue so i will just go and check now to see what other colors i have and if not then maybe the color of the world that blue right yeah yeah you're right Thank you very much, Renata. <laughs> yeah, with dark blue would really look nice. I will go and I will take a look. Anyway, what I want to say is that this is already dry. And indeed, it keeps a kind of a shine. Oh, it's amazing. I love it. I go to get the other, the other two blues. I hear you. Uh, on DixieBellPaint.com. Uh, uh, or you will, She's you might choose. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I continue to talk while I'll go to get get the paint. So on dixiebellpaint.com, that's uh, that's uh, one way. Or you can go to. I didn't put my affiliate link. Uh, unfortunately, shame on me because I was in a hurry. Uh, but uh, soon I will post. After I finish this, I will post also the link uh, in the description in the body of the of the um post so um yeah actually renata guess what i have also from uh from the silk uh from the all-in-one mineral paint i have very similar blue i don't know can can you see it's really very similar it's like uh, in the navy from the normal uh, chalk paint uh, uh color so I really love this one. It's super beautiful. We will try to see how how they work uh, inside. And I also have from the same uh, line, the silk line, I have also this beautiful color. It is very similar to... Uh, that's, that's like a sage green? This one? Yeah. No, it's not really like a sage green. It's more like a vintage... I don't remember the name. Uh, yeah, sage green. Yeah, that would be a good, uh, op a good, very good option. Anyway, I think I will play inside these small drawers. I will play so that we can see the difference. I will play with uh, the, these two colors and see which one is nicer. 
I also got the plum, the crazy plum. I love this this pinkish aubergine kind of purple pink. It's very beautiful, and I think this would also look nice. But for the moment, uh, I go for these blues. I really want to see how these are working. <laughs> oh, I don't talk to you anymore. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you for teasing me. Yeah, so I will just keep it like this. And the brush, I keep it in a wet uh, microfiber cloth like this so that it stays, uh, it doesn't dry. And let me get two more brushes. Thanks God I'm rich. Thanks God to Dixie Bell who is sending me brushes. So I got other two minis and I'm gonna try inside these drawers. Here I will try both blues that I have from the same uh, line. So I go first with this one, the Deep Sea, which is sort of in the navy for the ones that uh, are more familiar like me with the chalk mineral paint. So this is really a very in the navy color. It's super beautiful. And what is really amazing about this paint is the coverage. I mean, really, it covers amazingly. So, yeah, I will do like this so that you can see. So we play in one of the drawers, we play with this one. And in the other one, we will use the, the, the lighter one. This one, why I, why I want to use also this one to try this one, because I'm thinking the other one I told you, I'm doing two of these, two of these boxes for the same customer and they will stay in a beauty salon. So I was thinking to make one blue and one uh, this uh, pink. So I was, I'm thinking maybe if I go, if I decided to go outside on this pink and if I take this one inside, then the other one to make it exactly vice versa. So to put this color outside and to go inside with this uh, dusty uh, pink. So let's see. But I really like how it looks uh, indeed with this dark blue. It really looks very nice. So let's see. So far I love it. But let's see. In the end. I will go for what everybody will decide. So you have the veto right tonight. <laughs> veto, veto. Uh, I, I forgot to tell you guys that I have my, uh, my uh, English teacher here with me. And he's constantly telling me that peony is not peony, that it's peony. Peony. And that copper is not copper, it's uh, copper. And I always forget this, so <laughs> I don't know why he's trying. I mean, he's cute, but uh, he's trying his best. So this is with the, it's, it's just the first coat, yeah? So we definitely, I will have to apply a second coat also on the outside, so I don't go anyway only with one coat. But uh, yeah, on the blue, the coverage, it was not, actually also inside is much more lighter than it was outside. I think if I go with the same color inside, it will have the same coverage. So I will put also this brush aside. I open this and I make like this, not, not touching the colors, the brushes. Okay. So I put this back and now let's try also the tide, tide pool. This is beautiful. I love this color. Actually, I love both of them. But what if I do two drawers, one color and one, I don't know, I have to think. Oh, this is super cute. This is like a minty bluish green <laughs> i don't know if there is any color like this but this is how it looks in my eyes at least 
it's really a minty it's more minty than it, it, it is it's like a baby blue uh a little bit uh dusty and minty i don't know in at least I, that's what i see so gray definitely not it's getting into blue definitely so stop talking to me about colors and also because it's lighter color it cover it, the coverage is uh better on this lighter uh wood it's not wood as i said but oh i love this it really look, it looks nice it looks much more childish this one gives it gives this piece uh, a little bit of uh, classy elegant look while with this blue inside it looks more childish and more fun i think So, while we will vote for which color to go for the inside, I will paint the second coat on the main body of the box. I love this. I really love the color. It really looks very nice. Okay. And this. So, and this is the second option. I don't know, is, is it um, is it it's okay on the camera, Vali? Yes. Okay, good to know. So, putting the brushes aside. Here, covering, doing this, keeping them on the side. And now we go for the coat number two on the main body. I will put this here so guys please help me to decide which colors I should go for so this will be the color on the outside and those two options I'm thinking of and still not decided if I should go for that or not for that color or the other I think the crazy plum I will put it aside I really want to use only the silk because I am falling in love with silk. I think it just became my favorite paint. I don't think so. I, I never tried it uh, because I heard that it's not so easy to blend, but now playing with it, I, I don't understand why it would not be easy to blend because it's super flexible. So I will definitely try to blend as well to see how it comes oh beautiful the second coat is really what all that this piece needs so no more the coverage was already there from coat one i will go a little bit on the margins as well we put wood in the fire so that's the, snow, the the noise that you can hear now is Vali doing this we are uh, hitting this uh, old uh, ex not old ex garage <laughs> transformed into my my kinder garden <laughs> workshop okay my play playground so uh, and we put um, wood real wood uh, heating uh, system here so nobody fireplace nobody asks anything nope everybody is just watching me painting i think it would be very fun I think it, yeah, unfortunately, I don't have, I, I, I should have thought to paint uh, uh, at least one of these uh, boxes uh, in advance so that I could have, uh, maybe I could have played also a little bit with the transfers. 
But I was not uh, smart enough to do this. Thank you, Renata, but it doesn't help me. <laughs> you have to choose for me, not to tell me that both are beautiful. <laughs> but thank you, yes, indeed, they are very beautiful. Both colors are really beautiful. I love them. I think I'm, I, my heart goes a little bit with the lighter blue. But on the other hand, I really see how elegant is the dark blue. So, and I love creating elegant things. So I don't know. Go brighter, right? Thank you very much, Renata. <laughs> Thank you for making my uh, my job easier. It is always very difficult for me to choose colors. Uh, especially when combining uh, or if I want to do something else inside drawers or I don't know because I usually paint also the drawers inside and I put uh, either transfers or decoupage paper or wallpaper so I don't like to leave the interior uh, uh, not painted so or not also the back I'm painting also the back of my pieces I like to have this feeling of new thing completely new thing and especially inside the drawers i think it's important to do something and to really you know give the feeling of the neck of the new uh of the customer the feeling that he is the first one using that piece of furniture i think it may be only in my head i don't know yeah yeah that's true yeah, that's true. And uh, Elena, my friend, she will keep uh, the the tools for her beauty salon. So I think she needs something bright inside. Yeah, I think that will be the the winner. Also, I still uh, I keep looking from time to time <laughs> to see which one speaks to me better. But. Uh, that's what that that's what happens when you love all the colors <laughs> thanks god i only have three otherwise i would have tortured you with let's see also this one and let's see also this one like i told torture my husband who is um colorblind and he's making fun of me pretending that he can see colors and he sometimes i i, I sometimes i forget he doesn't see colors by the way, babe, what color is this? What do you see? What color do you see? This this one. Brown. Okay, so guys, this uh, is brown. In case you, in case you don't know, this is uh, brown. <laughs> you imagine him painting furniture. Okay, so I also made these margins. So, and um, what about the, how how is the thing how are the things with you related to what happens in in europe i don't know i didn't ask you what do you think about the war and how is america american people how they are reacting to this what do you think because here in europe <clears throat> we are quite uh, you know in the middle of the things so we are really like we are under a spell we we don't really know what's gonna happen we paint i continue to paint <laughs> okay i will leave this aside until i finish also this so yeah i think i will go with the with this light blue it's really so beautiful it's so childish and playful but meanwhile i go for the second coat on the exterior here it 
assist paint is really very easy to use and as i was telling you i mean i i know i we have upstairs when we moved here we didn't when we when we bought the house we of course didn't have too much money to buy expensive furniture so we went for ikea and now i'm thinking i was really postponing to paint it because i plan to paint my uh, ikea furniture but i was postponing it because i knew that i have to prime it but now with this paint and without uh, without uh, which can can work also without uh, um, primer then i think i will have to investigate a little bit more the colors and to play a little bit with my walls to see what i want to do so i think i will use this line yeah it's really a nightmare there are so many refugees coming to to first of all to the uh, neighbors countries like poland romania moldova i think they left how many a few millions already right yeah yeah it's uh, it's really a nightmare so much pain and suffering I read something very interesting uh, the other day. Uh, I don't remember who said this, but it was super smart. That the war is done. It, 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 the, the war is played in reality by young people that they don't know each other and they don't they don't hate each other, but they kill each other because of old guys that know each other and hate each other. They don't want to kill each other. So, and this is exactly what happens here. What am I? What? Kneeling. Kneeling. What is kneeling? This is kneeling. Okay. What are you kneeling? Ah, we are. <laughs> that's how you say. That what are you kneeling on? Oh, that's cute. I didn't know. Ah, okay. Sorry. Um, please meet uh, my uh, best friend, the sheep. No, like this. It's my beautiful ship, and it is on top of uh, another small pillow. So, uh, yeah, these are perfect for my needs, indeed. And I have others as well, but uh, I have an entire collection, <laughs> actually, of all kinds of uh, things to, to sit on, to knee on. Yeah. Kneel, okay. That's nice. I learned a new word. I'm trying to remember it until tomorrow. <laughs> okay, and now let's go for code two also on this one. And uh, then we can uh, go further and also paint the in inside. So I decided, I, I think I decided to go for this blue, this one, which really dries. Uh, very nicely it's like a baby blue with a little bit of minty color it is called uh, tide pool so if anyone knows this color and can describe it better than i can please help me this one the tide pool because i really cannot explain and not okay. you not you, you see it gray, so it's definitely not gray. Let's leave the others that know colors, okay? And that can see colors. Let them talk, please. Don't try. There is a strength, uh, I will definitely make something like that for me. <laughs> My nails take a beating. Okay. A bad when I'm painting. Yeah, yeah, it's really difficult. I, I had some issues um, with my back. Anyway, the doctor said that it, it really doesn't, uh, it's not connected to doing furniture or anything. It's just a genetic issue. I have some issues with my bones. Anyway, but uh, <clears throat> he said that uh, I have to stay, to, to stay correctly. Also, when I uh, use my knees or when I... Uh, stay on the chair so he was super nice and he asked me to explain to him 
So how are you painting? Okay, and uh, when you reach to there, how do you stay? And he really corrected me and he told me how to, to stay correctly. He was super, super nice. I really have a very good doctor. So um, because I was like over a week, I, was, uh, I wasn't able to, to do anything. I was taking very strong painkillers because of the back pain and kept me away from working project and I was super unhappy and now I'm super delayed with some some of the projects but my customers love me and they understand me so they are not getting mad on me <laughs> or even if they do they don't tell me at least <laughs> okie dokie so this one is also ready and <clears throat> I will go also for the outside, uh, the exterior. Okay, I dirtied my brush. Very smart. Not. When it dries, it it gets even a little bit darker, and it's so beautiful. It's really so beautiful. It's like a dusty powder. Hmm? Somewhere else, where? Where? There. I'm fine here? Yes. Okay. So, yeah, if you don't see me, let me know. Because I want to be seen tonight. So, um, <clears throat> I was telling you in the beginning of the live, and I will repeat that I really plan to have every month one artist that I appreciate and I love. Uh, last month, I invited uh, Shell from Consider This Furniture. She is with Dixie Bell. Uh, she's uh, an elite retailer, so she's with Dixie Bell for quite a while. And so she's amazing. She has these amazing textures, which I'm really now, uh, let's say, I'm, I'm trying to to get as much as possible into that uh, that kind of furniture because I really love it. But um, I don't know why I, I was afraid of textures and layering and so on. So I, invite, I, I want to invite each month one artist that inspires me and that I really appreciate. And I want to paint together with them. So for this month, for this month, um, I was supposed to, to work with Andre. Andre is a Romanian artist and he's super talented. And Dixie Bell was super, the, the, the girls, uh, Kyla and, uh, uh, and Natalia, they were so nice and they also helped with uh, sending uh, Andre paint and other products, Dixie Bell products. So, but they, and they sent them really quite in time, like two weeks before or something. But unfortunately, <clears throat> because of the war and because of the proximity of Romania with the, with the Ukraine, all the custom verifications and everything, they were like taking even more time. And so unfortunately, the product arrived just today and we didn't know if they arrived today. So we couldn't uh, go on with the live, but uh, I will let you know soon. Uh, when we are uh, uh, arranging this life, because definitely I want to bring Andre in front of you, and because he has amazing techniques, which I really want to learn, and I think you will also be super interested to see. I really want to learn from him, all of us. He is really an amazing artist. So stay tuned, because we will announce when we come uh, live together. Hopefully, end of March, the last week, the last Friday of March, but we don't know yet. When we know, we will let you know. And we chose already the colors, and I don't want to spoil the, um, the surprise, but we are going to use a lot of red, and we are going to use even aubergine, and some other super beautiful colors. And I'm going to blend and he will layer these colors. And now I need something to put in here. 
to keep this open, but I don't know what I could. Oh, it stays, it stays, it stays, it's fine, it's fine. No, 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 no. Give me, um, give me another small brush, an artist brush, please. Two, because I will have two. I have there. Thank you. So when I paint, uh, I do like this. And then I put it here. Let it dry. Okay, so now this is the last box. And this is already dry. Unbelievable. How many minutes are we? Uh, 45. Oh, I'm wondering if I can... Because it's already dry, and I'm I'm wondering if I could uh, start using the um, the transfer. But I think I need to let let it dry a little bit more. I don't want to hurry. So yeah, we didn't do anything uh, I don't know complicated tonight. But uh, in the end, it is not about making only complicated things. I think it's uh, what I really wanted to show you is how easy it is for you to. Just grab some paint, take a brush and something that is really ugly in your house and that you really, really, really don't like it. Rather than put it in trash, take, as I said, a paint, a brush, and that's all you need because this paint, the silk mineral, is a all-in-one and it doesn't require any additional preparation or anything to do afterwards like you are just washing the piece if you have white lightning then it's even better if not you just wash it with warm water and a little bit of uh, soap from your kitchen and then you rinse it well you let it dry for about an hour and then you just paint and you paint and you give a second life to your furniture and you will be really very proud of you for doing that. I, I swear it will really make you feel very, very happy. I remember when I painted our bedroom uh, five years ago, <laughs> I didn't know <clears throat> anything about painting furniture. I was just watching some YouTube tutorials. And uh, I said, yeah, why not? I think I can do it. <laughs> And we didn't have Dixie Bell in here at that time. And there were only some German brands and the colors were not nice. So I went for a white bedroom. And I was, I remember I was so happy with, with the result. Even if it wasn't perfect, I knew it wasn't perfect, but I really loved it. Hello, hello. Thank you very much for joining. So yeah, for, for those that joined a little bit later, this is the mineral silk, uh, which is having uh, a primer and also protection inside. So you don't need to do anything else but to paint. Clean the piece and paint it. And that's all you have to do. And then that furniture will be really another furniture. I promise you. I will. Oops. Yeah, this one is the one that... And I don't think I will be able to fix it in this way. I think I will have to. We will have to change this uh, the screw. I think so. Because it's still it still it, it keeps going out going away, going out going away. I don't know. Yeah, breaking. Okay, so I will turn it like this. Okay, and I will open it and try not to use this here because it's not, yeah, it doesn't stay. Hmm. Because I, I really want to paint also the margins. I don't want to leave anything looking unprofessionally done. So I want it to look perfect. <laughs> so that's why I paint interiors as well and the back of the furniture. Or if I know that I that the customer is putting the furniture like uh, on some stairs and you can see from uh, from beneath, 
from under. Then I also paint the the under the part under the furniture. I've done that. So I really want customers to feel uh, confident that that piece is really clean. It has nothing from the past. <laughs> so it's important to make people feel com confident with whatever they are buying. So, okay. I think this one, oops. This one is also ready. And now I will be able to start painting the interiors. Okay. I have 10, mi 10 more minutes. Oh, really? Time flies when I'm painting with you. Guys, I wonder where is Amber, my dear friend Amber. I didn't see her also last live. She was, by now, she's having some health issues. I hope she will recover soon. She was such, she's such a joy, joyful person. I miss her. Yeah, so let's take a look a little bit on the piece, how it looks now. I don't know if you can see. It has a little bit of shine on it. It really looks like a furniture that has a protection on top. It's really very beautiful. And what I know for a fact is that I will also put some wax to protect. I love protecting my pieces with wax. I don't know. I It's also because even if I, 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 I water that uh, uh, sponge very well, when I use the top coat, I don't like sometimes maybe the, the the finish is not perfect and then i have to it's too risky for me so i don't get to uh, complications i don't like to complicate my life so i prefer to stay safe and to protect with um with my old uh, friend uh, <laughs> with the wax so i go old-fashioned even if i have to work a little bit more because you have to um to buff the, the the wax in order to achieve a little bit of shine but doesn't matter so um i think it's a good decision to continue to go with this color inside i really like how it looks what do you think i i really like i i think it it fits very well it's uh somehow complementary I don't know why I think it's complimentary, but I think it's complimentary. <laughs> so I will go for this also inside here because this one is already dry. Oops. So I'm using, again, I am using the silk mineral all-in-one I go for the interior with the tide pool. I love this color. So uh, I think it's very important because I discovered this paint as I work it. I work with it now. Yes, definitely. Thank you, Catherine. It is blue. That's why she says blue. Uh, so what I can tell you so far is a really honest opinion is first of all i am impressed by the coverage of this paint also i i don't know why i have had the feeling that maybe i need three coats or but no definitely two coats are more than enough i will show you so this is the first coat and look at the coverage i mean it really covered everything and i will go now on the drawer that i painted first coat already this one and i will show you how it looks after you apply the second coat it's perfect it's flawless yeah it really looks beautiful it has a little bit of minty color as well so i will i don't think I, i'm really crazy it's a little bit of bluish green i think that i think that's why they call it uh tide 
full because it is a little bit also in the grayish. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's really beautiful. And in contrast with the exterior, it looks perfect. Yeah, this is the winner. The winner takes it all. Really takes it all. So now I'm trying to apply the second coat without touching the margins. I don't know how it will clean if I do it, so I prefer not to do it. You don't have to take a lot of paint on the brush. I think this is important also for this uh, paint, yeah, not yeah. only. I understand, I understand to make the paint. Dixiebel. The paint is done by Dixiebel. It's their all-in-one uh, line. And you don't need to prime, you don't need to seal after you paint. All you have to do is take a brush, take this paint, and paint your IKEA. <laughs> Paint it, make it colorful, bright. So, and it dries very fast and the colors are amazing and the coverage is amazing. You literally don't need more than two coats for sure. So, I don't know how much is one uh, new furniture painted and so on if you go and buy it from uh, from I don't know from expensive stores, but definitely it will not be so fun to, because it will be made by yourself. It's a totally totally different game to to do something by yourself, and this is really achievable. This is not blending. This is not I don't know what kind of super hard technique. Can you make transfer or take a part from that type of thing? Yes, that's what I heard, and that's what I'm gonna do. Actually, I will. Uh, use uh, for the inside and also for the outside of this box i am planning to use the these two transfers this one the lace transfer i want to put it on the sides uh not completely only this one because i also want to combine it with the balloons the hot air balloons all of them are from dixiebel and once i will finish this live i will put the the link with uh with the, the the store from where you can buy online so um, these beautiful happy balloons i think they will come really super beautiful beautiful on this one together with this elegant lace i think it will really look nice so yeah, I will have to stop here because it's already been already one hour. Thank you everyone for watching me. Um, don't forget, I will I will put the link with the, all the products uh, with the link where you can find all the products that I I used. Again, I um, I want to repeat what uh, products I've been using tonight. So first of all, the one and only the best ever brushes, the mini. Uh -huh. Baby asks, is available in Europe, especially in Spain? Yes, yes, it is. It is available and they deliver worldwide. So you just have to click the link. I will put it just a little bit uh, later, like in five minutes after I finish the, the live, you will have the link so you can go and, and find them. It's anyway, it's dixibelpaint.com. Um, and, um, ah, and I was making the summary. So I used for the inside of this piece, I went with the Tide Pool, a very controversial color, <laughs> controversial only in my head and my husband's head because it is really a baby blue with a, an undertone of mint. So that's for sure. And I also used this amazing, beautiful, uh dusty pink uh which is called desert rose both of these colors are from the line silk which is a all-in-one mineral paint which means that you don't need to 
uh, to to prime uh, you don't need to prime the, the the piece even if it's not real wood you just apply this paint on top of any surface and it will really stick and you paint and you don't have also to uh, to um, to stick to seal the the the, the paint I strongly advise you to use some sealer after after this especially if you're gonna paint a piece like this one which will be heavily used so this piece will really be used daily and it will be open so it's important to put some protection on top of it and then um, to, to beautify a little bit more this piece I will go with these two transfers you, you can find everything I showed you on Dixiebel um, on Dixiebel's site so thank you very much everyone for watching uh, I will let you know when I will have the live with uh, my uh, artist friend Andre. Hopefully the last week of March, but I will let you know. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful uh, rest of the day because uh, most of you are from US, so you still have a, a long day ahead of you. And uh, see you next time. Thank you very much. Bye.